All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. I know it's usually a powerlifting prep, but today's very special because when this goes live, it is Taylor and I's one year anniversary. Woo! Woo! December 11th, so we're taking a little bit of a break from the prep, especially because we're kind of, we're going out of town when this, uh, when this is up. We got a little, little special something that she does not know what it is yet. Mm -hmm. You don't know what it is? Yeah, I do. No, you don't. She, do. she thinks she knows, but she- I know what it is. <laughs> she does not. But I hope you guys enjoy this. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's, just, let's just hop into it. The first question is, um, I thought the anniversary was October 31st. Confused, because we did the podcast. Yeah. Understandable. Uh, Max told me I had to choose between our anniversary, because we say that we started dating on October 31st, which no. was our first date. Our first date was October our 31st. Our first date was October 31st. But this man did not ask me out until December 11th. Right. 2021. Yeah, because I was nervous. I didn't know, I, but we, you know? How long is that, October 31st? Like Less than two months, I, I is, that, is that fast? Is that slow? It's like normal. That's normal? Yeah. What do you think, what do you think we'd like, what would have been too long if I like waited too long to ask you out? Like if you waited past January, I think I would have been frustrated. You've been frustrated? frustrated. Make sure you got to talk loud for the people. Sorry, you know guys, I don't feel well, so y'all are gonna have to hear nasally Taylor. Ah! Okay. Uh, okay, this one's probably more for you because I have no idea. Are your zodiacs compatible? Um, I'm a Virg or Virgo. You're, you're a Virgo. I'm a Cancer. My mom's a Virgo, and all of my really close people in my life, besides Paige, are Virgos. So, Virgos and Cancers don't really get along well, but I think because my mother's a Virgo, that we mesh well because I have a lot of Virgo tendencies. The, I think the whole Zodiac thing, I think, is made up, and it's like a scheme to just get people's money. But they don't get money from this. Someone's getting money from these Zodiac signs because it's like... I, I one time so I, I'm I'm a Virgo right, which is September or something, and then I I try to explain how I think it's all dumb, and I think like they're just using like generalizations, and people are like, oh my god, that is me. Oh. That sounds so Virgo of you. That's I've gotten that. They're like, it's so Virgo of you to not believe in the signs, and I'm like, this is this is so it it's like one of those like ter like call me now, Miss Cleo, and then yeah, but it'd I'm be very, like I'm very much a Cancer though. You can make these things okay. about it's like the psychics. They're like Any. you've lost someone you love at some point in your life and it's like oh my god I that did. has nothing to do with you horoscope, yes okay. it is it's like just you're ambitious you're you're cautious it's like i am caught i just think it's ridiculous you're, no you're done do you think taylor would be with you if you didn't have the social media presence yeah guys I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> if that was the case she would have left my ass by now because my social has just like been on the downcline. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I like if you didn't have social media, I actually probably would prefer it more just because our relationship is private and it's just like we don't have to share as much like with the world. So I, I don't think it would change anything. It would just be a little bit more private, which I wouldn't say is a bad thing. Yeah, but now it's like, hey guys, here's our first date and our second date and our third date and our fourth date. Everything for the rest of our lives will be filmed. You see, the problem is I, I, I'm i so open to like filming everything. You've yeah. been so like yeah. accepting of it. But if I was to ever not film something, people immediately start thinking there's problems. Yeah. yeah. Because like, why aren't you filming this? Why You haven't shown Taylor in two videos. Is something going on? Oh what my God. Your, what are your problems? I know. Yeah. It's no. so. Um, no. I yeah. I, I wouldn't care if you had social media or not. It was probably definitely a plus. She's like, wow, this is a top tier fitness influencer. Oh, I don't know. And then she's like, wait, how much can you bench? <laughs> I guess I'll give you a pass on that one. Okay. Is that what you said? No. <laughs> uh, this, I got this a lot. Do you guys argue? Have we had our first argument? <laughs> yeah. We've, I want to say we argued. We like had our first like frustration with one another. There was really no argument. It was like just a more of a deeper conversation and like talking about our frustrations, but it wasn't something that we argued. I don't think we were like, I wasn't like, I can't believe you did this, like getting mad. Like we've never like gotten mad at each other. It's just like we had a frustration with one another and like we just calmly talked about it. Uh, yeah, I don't think we've ever raised our voices at each other ever. 
Um, I'll be honest and like completely trans. What are you looking at? You. How cute I am? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll be honest. The 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 two probably things she's talking about. A big problem that I have because I'm new to a relationship is that, as you guys know, I'm a very sarcastic person, and everything I feel needs a comeback, a reply. Everything has to be funny or humorous. And I think there's there's been situations where. Taylor has maybe said something, said how she feels, or like something is going on, and I immediately just joke about it to kind of like, in my mind, I'm trying to move on from this conversation, and I make it a joke, and I think it maybe comes off as you don't care, you insincere, don't yeah. and that I'm brushing, and that's not my intention, and so it's definitely just been, I think, a conversation of like, hey, you know. Yeah, I, it hasn't happened a lot, but there's like certain times where we've had conversations, and he just immediately like either stops me from talking and just like moves on to the next subject. And it just like, it's like, no, I'm going to talk about this. Like, I want you to listen because I listen to everything he says and I, and I take in what he says and then I respond to like what he, I think he needs to hear or mm -hmm. what he is feeling at that time. And so those are things he's learning. Yeah. And I hopefully, I mean, I, I try to be very understanding of it mm -hmm. and it's definitely like a self-improvement thing on my end about just, like reading the situation and realizing when's an appropriate time to say something funny and just keep in mind even when they start arguments i still think what i say is usually pretty funny but i just <laughs> the, the appropriate time so I'm, I'm working on it okay um here's what's our icks about each other oh, she was just this. <laughs> I, I don't even know what the damn an ick is an ick is like a ugh, like oh why did you do that like uh it's just like it's like a turn off kind of but it's an ick i turn you off no what's 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 an ick about me what is it? <laughs> There's only a couple. A, cu a couple? <laughs> what is it? What are they? There's just like, you don't let me shower with you. We've talked about that. I Yeah, I don't like people looking at like my the, butt cheeks. The cabinets. That's an ick, leaving cabinets open? Yeah, that's my ick. That's like a, ugh. Do you have like a, any more serious ones? Like... <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you have an ick? Th those are that's so that icks are. Who thought this up? That probably the same person thought zodiac signs. Okay, do you have an ick for me? If that's what an ick is, then my ick would be Taylor doesn't use a credit card and just uses a debit card for everything and doesn't get freaking cash back, which is really stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go into like a segment. I was like, oh wow. Not everything has to be a promotional. <laughs> why? Why do you think everything has to be a promo? Because I never know when it's coming. Okay, that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> speaking of that, is Max good in bed? <laughs> I don't. Think... That's for me to know and no one else to find out. <sighs> I do sleep pretty good. Do I snore? Sometimes. But not all the time? Not all the time. Is it like a cute snore? No. But you do chomp down a lot. I'm chomping? You're chomping in your sleep sometimes. You I know. You wear your night guard, but you don't. I don't. Here's the thing about the night guard. So every time I go to the dentist, which was a couple days ago, they're like, "Are you? why didn't you bring your night guard in to get cleaned? And I'm like, because uh, it's still clean from the last time. <laughs> that I haven't worn. I, I don't, like, I'm comfortable enough to put in the night guard. Yeah, but, I wear one too. But what I'm, it's, when I put that in, I'm assuming no sexy times after that. So I'm worried. I'm like, I don't know. Like, like once I put it in, is she going to think, well, okay, I guess I'm, is that the like, no, it's only not, good. you're not getting any of this. Okay. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> no, it's like only, if you wore, if you I'd had, still make out with you. If what? Yeah. If you wore a night guard and you, you put it in, I would be like, okay, guess I'm going to bed. No, I don't. Could, do you think, with people with night guards, does sexy time still happen after you put the night guard in? Are you like, no did you put it in and then she like everything gets kind of frisky and you're like, <sighs> hold on, we're going back in. <laughs> is that kind of what happens? I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe weird, but what is Taylor's ethnicity? I don't know if we've ever talked about this. We haven't talked about this, but this is like a number of question that I get from people um, because people don't understand what I am. But I'm just a whole melting pot of cultures. I'm Native American. I am German. What's your percentages? Um, I can't tell you like exact percentages, but my main is like Native American. I'm like 25% Native American. And then I'm German Jewish, and that's like 18%. And then Italian, French, Irish, Portuguese, and like a little bit. How do you know? How do you find out all this? Do you do like the 21 I did, I did, and me? I did the 23 and me. Is that a new one? 23? I it's thought it was only 21. 
21 Kenyatta or something. Uh, okay, I've never done the 20, 23 and me. Yeah. Uh, it would definitely just be <laughs> your basic. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Best memory together. I'll go first. Okay. I think it, I, I mean, there's a lot of great memories every single day, but I really think that the, um, when we went to Tulum with David and Julia, yeah. you know, our friends that left us went to Spain. Yeah. That's a really special one for me because that was our first trip together. And it was the first time like showing kind of like full YouTube max and, and kind of like showing you on camera. And that was like us seeing how we get along in a, not only like in a travel situation with, with friends, then Daryl came in. I got, I got sick during that trip and you shut up. And then you you took care of me and like I got to see that side of you. Daryl came. Who had you ever met Daryl before then? Yes. Okay, but like you were able to go. It was just like it was like just Daryl and I. I got to see like so many different sides of of you during yeah. that trip, and it was just a great like first travel experience. Yeah. I loved it. It was a good time, except for you getting sick. That was sad. Um, I would say my favorite memory together. It's really silly, but I think it was visiting your mom what yeah i like like meeting your mom and joe and like seeing your family and like getting to experience like where you grew up and like your stories and like getting to meet your family and like having that part of you and it's just i don't know i think anytime we get to go home to like where you're from was like i love it because it's like it, it brings out a different side of you but it's it's so genuine and you're like it's like where you grew up it's cool to see isn't she sweet <laughs> okay, this one is specifically for you. Okay. Uh, this one's for Taylor. What is, in your opinion, the best way to get cash back? Oh, Upside! You Wait. guys haven't heard of Upside? <laughs> Wait, you know about Upside? <laughs> yeah! They're sponsoring today's video! No way! I know! <laughs> Let me tell you guys about them. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out, which, let's be honest, is most of us. And Upside helps offset inflated prices by giving you cash back on your purchases. Now, you guys know I'm a huge fan of cash back reward programs with credit cards, but with Upside, you can earn three times more cash back on your everyday purchases, which is actually insane. By the way, this app isn't like too good to be true. I've tested it and it works. It's super simple. You just download the app, you set up an account, which is very easy, you search around your area for an offer, you find one you like, you go there, you check in, and then you just pay like you normally would with your credit card, and boom, you're making insane cash back. Personally, my favorite place to use Upside will be at the gas pump. I mean, you already have to buy gas. That is going to happen. Why would you not want to make more cash back on things you're already buying? And with all of the cash back that I'm getting, I can put that towards the bulkhead in my backyard because it's so expensive. And what's great with Upside is you can cash out at any time. You can transfer the money directly to your bank account, your PayPal account, or you can get an e-gift card to Amazon or a ton of other amazing brands. So if this is something you'd be interested in, you can download the free Upside app at upside.app.link slash maxtuning and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Again, download the free Upside app at upside.app.link slash maxtuning to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. All right, and we're back. How many kids do you each want? I want a whole football team. A football team? Just kidding. Um, I want three to four. Technically just three, but I, so twins run in my family, so I'm probably gonna be, you know, blessed to have twins, but I'm hoping they're twin boys. I want two boys and one girl. I like, I don't like boys more than I like girls. You know you can like choose now. Yeah, but I don't want that because I'm gonna, I wanna do it the natural way. I think it's like if you're on top, it's a boy. That's not how that works. It's, honey. it's cause the. That's no. No? No. Okay, so three to four? Three to four. How about you? I, th I think the cap should be three. Two, after that, that's, that's, that's a lot of, ch that's a lot of kids. I just want two boys, one girl. I need one you know, baby. we have like one great golden doodle. What about just one great child? No. You need two? I need a boy and a girl. Okay. I think the boy should come first so he protects the girl. I Not agree. saying girls need protection from guys, but I'm just. No, I agree. Older brother that he's going to be strong as fuck. I grew up with an older brother and having that like person that like, it's like not security, but like my brother was my best friend going up, growing up and he took care of me and my sister and yeah. he was just like, yeah, like a protector. He would beat up anybody that ever broke my heart. I'm, I'm gonna when I when I have a son, I'm gonna be like, son, 
Your pathetic father has never been in a fight, and I don't know what it's like and how to defend myself or how to take or give a punch. But, but your you, uncle but <laughs> can teach you that. Who? My brother. Oh, yeah, he's been in fights? Oh, hell yeah. Well, I'd be like, your father can't do any of those things, but you're gonna learn. I'd be like shaking his head like this. I'm gonna be a weird father, I tell you that. I'm gonna... Yeah. They'd be like, can I do this? I'd be like, sure. Can I do this? Okay. Can I go here? I don't care. You know, it's something that someone uh, mentioned. What? They're like, I mean, you're younger than I am, but there was like, they're like, isn't it crazy to think about like when we grew up, our, we would go out and play and our, we didn't have cell phones. Our yeah. parents had no idea where we were or couldn't contact us if we were, unless we were in a house and it was like fine. Yeah. And like, like you think about it, you're like, yeah, my mom had no idea for like, I'd be like, I'm going out to hang with my friends. We'll be back yeah. in six hours. Yeah. No idea where I was. Crazy. 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 Is it ever awkward when bills come for dinner, eating out during the week, knowing who will pay? No. Is that assuming that during the week it's not a, like a date, and then on the weekends it's like it's a, a date? It's a date on the weekends. No, I don't think so. Anytime like we get dinner, it's like just like... We split it every single time, and I'm like, if you got the appetizer and I didn't eat it, you're paying for that. That's not what happens. I, I th- I, 99.9% of the time, I think... And I, uh, I don't want this to like come off weird, but I think it's expected that I'm going to pay because I'm, I'm expecting to pay. And I, I, like I talked about when I, the last Q and a about Taylor, like p- paying for stuff and how like your contributions yeah. to the relationship in the house and everything is, I want my partner to like, just not need to worry about really anything. And, and I just want like, even with the food, I want that process to not be Awkward. Yeah, I, I just want it to like be over with. Yeah. So I'd rather as soon as they come, just give the card and be like, yeah. bring me the check. And I don't even need it to be a conversation. Yeah. And it's always like, you very often are like, it's my treat, I got it. And usually yeah. I'm like, no, no, no. And you're like, yes. And so it's, it's uh, I think it, it's not like expected, but it's just, I expect to pay. Yeah. And I'm I mean, I don't expect it. you to pay. I don't expect I think I worded pay. that wrong. Yeah, yeah, I don't expect him to pay. That's not what it means. But it's like, whether it's one of us that's paying, one of us that's not paying, like, it's never, like, a conversation, like, no, you need to pay for this tonight, no. It's, like, there's nights where he's, like, yeah, I'll pay for it, or there's nights where I'm, like, no, let me get this. Like, yeah, when we go to Chipotle, or we go out to dinner, or we do something, I'm, like, no, let me do this for you. So it's never, like, it's not an expectation on either one of us. It's just kind of, like, it happens, it happens. Yeah, and I think every relationship is different, and every, maybe, relationship's finances are different, and maybe, like, the kind of agreement you kind of, I don't think there's agreement, it's... I don't know. I just think naturally, if we go out to eat, I'm just, yeah. I'm, it's my instinct to just put the card down. I don't like, I'm not like, no is she, it's, it's been two times since she's offered, she, where's her card? Um, I don't know. I just care that she, and she does every single time. Like, I, like I've told about stories in the past. Like, I just want someone to appreciate and say thank you. I'm very And that, it, and she's never like, it's never like I pay and it's like expected. She, she just like moves on. It's always like, thank you so much. Thank you. Every single time. And yeah. Something like little like that, I think, goes a, a long way. Have you started to do something because of each other's influence? <laughs> yes. This girl copies everything that I that do is now. Not, you copy everything no, I do. No, no, no. Yes. Everything that she likes the same foods and the snacks, and she does all the same things. I've always liked the snacks that I like. You ju- you just you copy me. I do not. Yeah, you're becoming me in a yeah, cool way. I am not becoming him. Absolutely not. He's caught on to like a lot of my little catchphrases and the things I say. And I call dude duty duty boo now. Duty boo and booty duty booty. Yeah. Hey booty. hey, <laughs> what do we say? We're always like, duty booty. What does that booty duty? <laughs> <laughs> What's that booty duty? <laughs> We're weird. Do you know the song that's like hit that booty do. Hit that booty do. I that? call it. It's a song. It's like a song that I listened to when I was in middle school. I shouldn't have. Sounds like a terrible song. But then it's like I call it. What's that booty do? Hit that duty boo. I think I think we have. Uh, He's gone. Absor- <laughs> His dad's dude leaves. I think we've absorbed a lot of each other's traits and little little weird quirks. quirks. And I think we just. Uh, I think we get along super <laughs> super well. Uh, will you stay with Jeeps forever? Duh. Yeah. That was one of the huge bonuses when when she came over for the first time, or no, it was the first n- night that we uh, we the went on a date. date. Yeah. 
Um, you were like, damn, she got a white Jeep. She did, a white Jeep. I was like, oh, my, my Jeeps are white and stuff. And it was, it was just serendipitous. The only other car that I would ever ask for, like I even said, like my mom car is going to be like the Wagoneer. Like I'm going to get a bigger Jeep. It's like my mom car. But like my dream car would be like an old school, like Ford Bronco. And I just saw like a light pink one. The new Broncos are cool. The new Broncos are cool. But like an old school, like old school Ford Bronco. It's like... Just like a fun, like how we have a fun Jeep, like we yeah. want a fun Ford Bronco. But pretty much we're going to stay with Jeeps. Yeah. You, Max, you are surrounded by beautiful, ambitious women. What made Taylor so different? I didn't care. <laughs> I just was like, it's not that I didn't care, but I was just like, I wasn't fawning like for you. I wasn't like, oh my God, Max. They're know? asking me. I know, but I'm answering too. You cut me off sometimes, so I'm cutting you off. <laughs> Her kind, pure soul. That's what attracted to me. And it, it's kind of like hard to explain, you know? Like I've, I've gone on dates with girls that I've found attractive and we like get along, but just, I, I guess there's not like a checklist that I have of the perfect person, but I think everyone has qualities that um, they would prefer in someone, right? That yeah. like maybe that's like, if I could have the perfect and I, no one's perfect, but you, you get what I'm saying? And Taylor, just without even trying, it's like even just during our conversations, I was just like blown away by everything that she was talking about and her values and how she is with her family and just how she carries herself and talks. And it was, it was unlike anything that I've ever experienced. And then I just fell in love. And I'm funny. Yeah, I'm you're pretty, okay. I'm pretty funny. Yeah, you're okay. I got good humor. Um, yeah, 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 okay. We don't want to lie to you. <laughs> How did you know it was the right time to move in together? Because she would never leave. Because <laughs> I was here every day. It, it had been, we, she moved in at eight months. And I originally thought, remember, I was like, I, you can't live with someone until a year. I've never lived with anyone. Yeah. And I would say starting at about five or six months, she started kind of staying over. And it was just so natural, like and I six also, times a week. I was always gone too. And it's like. I would leave for like a week and then I'd come back. But I think what really solidified for him to ask me to move in is that when he was in the hospital and we all thought he was dying, um, I basically was there to take care of him hand and foot. I think that was like the first, like you're like, oh shoot. Like, like I need this woman. Cause like, like who else would have been in the hospital with me? <laughs> she's there 24 <24/7. laughs> seven. Um, how do you deal with having different ideologies, morals, or beliefs? You we've gone, um, we've gotten into this before, like in our podcast and obviously like I'm very open about my faith and my religion and the things that I believe in. And Max understands that. And he is very welcoming to what I believe in. And it's not that he like fully doesn't believe in God, but like you've gone through some hardships in your life where you question if God is there. And like I've said before, I think that your relationship with like the Lord and like finding that and having that conversation with yourself and with him. It, it's your journey for you to figure out and for you to find. And I'm going to be there to like support you and walk you through it. If that's what you wanted to do, like if you wanted to like walk through a faith, like filled life and that's great. And I would love that because we could do that together, but you know, I'm never going to push you to find your religion and find that faith. Like I want that to be like something that you find on your own and, of course, like you are so welcoming to my beliefs. And if I want to go to church and like how I want to raise our children and having beliefs, like you're very welcoming to that. And I thank you for that because it would be hard, obviously, if you were like, nope, absolutely not. We're not doing that. But you are very welcoming to it. And I think that you do have faith and you do, you say you pray. And so it's like, I know you have that belief in you. So it's just like your timing, your journey, and we all go through it. And I'm just here to support what she said. <laughs> I mean, I, I think there's definitely more, th maybe more things than just religion about different views on just like maybe life decisions and where we want things. Yeah. I, I think, I think Taylor and I are both, it's real. it's, I mean, it's just like they say about like a relationship. It's about, it's about give and take and understanding and, um, what the other person wants and maybe putting other people before you. And yeah. it's, it's even if we have different maybe views on something, we're both very understanding about respecting the other person's Person, yeah. op opinion and views and, and it, it, it just works yeah and i think there are like when it comes to like raising children and like how we want our lives to be 
like faith aside like the religion aside like our morals like we we do align very like similarly i don't even know if that's a word i'm really like not feeling great so if that's not a word i'm she's sorry. drunk she took a bunch of shots before <laughs> i this. did it no i took cold medicine but i think we align very similar in a very similar way when it comes to like our morals and the way we we're gonna raise our children and like how we want them to be and like the things that we want for them like and for ourselves like in our future i think we agree on most of that so there's never like been something that we're like no absolutely not and i think we both understand each other yeah and yeah i think that's a, a great representation of it i think we get along super well and we respect one another and it just it works out have you guys have you guys been criticized for who you're dating like maybe they're like you you're whether it be because i'm an influencer or just me or anything um no, I think everybody's been very open to like me being with you, like the people in my life and my friends. Like it makes sense. So like it's fine. Like we get that you're you're like we're not sure what attracts you to this guy because he has literally zero muscle mass. But whatever. That's not true. He's so strong. Have you seen him deadlift? That's right. You know, I will say that the only criticizing that I've ever gotten is people like surprised that I was able to get this girl. I Do you know when I brought you to the the New Year's party, no, New Year, yeah, New Year's at Alpha, that the Alpha Land yeah. Lounge, the VIP. I had like so many people wh during that event and even after. They would like pull me aside or something. They'd be like, Max, dude, I don't know how the fuck you got her, but do not screw this up. And I'm like, oh, like, th thanks. And they're like, no, no, like, dude, Max, how did you get that girl, Taylor? She's gorgeous. I'm like, what do you like? It was almost like. Max, dude, there is, I cannot believe that you were able to pull such a, <laughs> such a, like a gorgeous girl. Like, I think people had doubts. And I'm like, damn, what did you guys think? I think, I don't know. I think you did a good job. I'm like, it's because I'm funny and I'm really nice. You're the best <laughs> and I love you. I love you so You didn't much. get criticized? What about any, like, I got, like, the only what about when you told people that, like, I'm a YouTuber? No. They're like, Pfft. No. Dumb. No, I. everybody, I mean, our world and like my world before this was very like not social media based, but like I had to be on social media a lot being Miss Texas when I was Miss Texas. And so it just kind of made sense. Nobody, the only thing that like are like random people, which are like, what's funny is like they're people that I know followed you before like we dated because they started following me. They're like, they're, they like say something about like us, like in our like differences. What do they say? Like our differences in religion. And it's like, who do I got to beat up? I'll get my first I, fight. I, 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 so I took something from Max. Something I did catch on to is if somebody's mean to me or they say something that like I don't agree with and like they want to like start an argument on Instagram or they're just being angry, blocked. Blocked. Let me tell you. Do the, you know how many people I blocked the yesterday? The best thing ever is blocking <laughs> mofos on social media. Like, because yeah. first of all, I can't even wrap my head around. It's like, why would you follow someone who you disagree with anything that they do? Like, I'm just like, go away, right? Yeah. Like, it just, even, in the, even this video, just the, if you're watching this, just know that the second, the moment you type some dumb comment that is disrespecting me, Taylor, dude, my my anything. anything in my life, and you think you're being funny, your ass is so blocked. Blocked. Like you're you're done. You're dead. It's like go away. You. It's just like blah, blah, no, blah. I'm not saying go away, but maybe walk away and think about. No, the things go you, away. No, think about the things that you say to people and how it makes them feel, because. You could be doing some really bad damage to people, just so you know. Yeah, I think people who sit there and, like, attack other people have internal... Problems. Internal problems. Yeah, I agree. You're like, dude, dude, you're not mad at me. You're mad at yourself. And you know what I'm going to say? What? Bless your heart. Bless your heart. You bitch-ass, block, <laughs> dumb piece of shit. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, Max, since you've been single for so long, what has this relationship taught you? That love exists. I'm so lame. <laughs> I think it's I think it's truly that you, you can make time for people and when the right person comes in your life your entire mindset on everything will change and even right before Taylor came into my life um, I was putting out videos that said like I like literally a month or so before of I don't have time for a girlfriend I, I would be selfish for someone else because I would be so selfish with my time and when the right person comes into your life I think your entire world changes hopefully for the better yeah. and Taylor's just you know shown me that I can balance that I just that I needed someone I think it was like the missing piece in my life and I was just thinking that 
I'm, I literally thought I was going to be the fun uncle forever. Like, I just no. was like, I'll be no. single and I was fine. I was fine with it. You're going to be the best dad. I freaking hope so, but hopefully not anytime soon. But speaking of that, what is your guys' five year goals? Like, together or something? Damn, this is long as hell. 29 minutes. Oh, no, it's fine. No one's stuck around. Okay, here we go. Well, what's five year plan? For Go us, goals. Or, like, yeah, separately. Us, us. Where do you see us in five years? <sighs> Married. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully married and within five years. I hope less than that. Damn. Okay. You knew that. You knew <laughs> that. I mean, honestly, like I want to have kids by then and like have our future. Obviously, living somewhere where we have a little bit more land and just like. Let me ask you this. How come? And I people are. I'm not. I'm not talking about Christian. I know there's gonna think of this, but like, I've always seen it so normal for people to be like dating for. Yeah, we've been together for five years, six years, seven years. And obviously, I think most people, within a year or so, you should know that they want to spend yeah. the rest of your life with someone. Um, do you think people are in relationships for so long because maybe they started so young and people, like, it's like the age has a difference or yeah. it's like... Um, I think there's different reasons. Like, there's obviously, like, Christian who is... And Heidi who... No, are, we don't need to... No. Okay. I don't want to... Okay. No, we're not going down that. Like, But, like, they are very, like, business-oriented and, like, sometimes, like... Some people's goals aren't to get married. Like my mom, like for the long time, was like, I don't want to be married. I don't want to have kids. And then she met my dad. And what happens? She gets married. She has kids. The best daughter ever. Me. Sorry, Rachel. But she has kids. And like, that's like, she didn't think that's what she wanted for her life. But it happens. Where like, I think the question trying to ask is like, why like I want to get married? What's well, it's not just you. It's like, I think a, a lot of, I mean, I see on TikTok all the time. It's like, if he hasn't asked you and two years honey move on like i don't think it's a but then i'm like how do people who do or date for five but six like, years are they pieces the of thing shit is, like people that's again like that's like an outside viewer of the person in the relationship that's not in the relationship and doesn't understand like the dynamic because i think at that point like there's like you have conversations about marriage in a relationship and so like when there are people that don't want to get married or wait years to get married they probably have goals or things that they want to figure out and understand like some people want to be like settled and like in that mindset to get married and think that you have to be in that mindset to get married and maybe there's like something that inside them that they need to figure out before they get to that point but there are also people that i know get engaged like 10 months in and like they've been married for years now and like they just knew that's what they wanted to be with their life they're like why would i like wait for something that i have already know that i'm gonna have like what's the difference between me dating the person for another four years I, when I could be married to them for four years. I guess years. the people who are like, you see both sides of it of like, you know, why do I need to wait four years yeah. to do it? And then you have people of like, why do you need to rush so soon? Yeah. And I think the people who maybe are against rushing so soon, or it's not even rushing, I don't think, but it's like, they're just saying like, no, you should wait two, three, four, five years to see <laughs> if you're going to break up or not. Yeah. Like, because then it gets more complicated yeah. when that's the whole, the, that's the whole purpose like of marriage, waiting is. Marriage isn't a band aid. Like, I, I'm fully aware like marriage can make things harder. Marriage does make things harder. It's not like a band-aid that's gonna solve your issues. Like if we get married, like everything's gonna be fine. No, it's not. It's, it makes Why would getting married change like It doesn't but the thing is like if you have problems, like I've talked to my mom about this, like if you have problems in a relationship Because you can't just walk away. Yeah, you can't just walk away and because I Because of the government. No, but like I just told Max, I was like, you know, I'm the type of person that like I don't believe in divorce. I don't ever want to get to get a divorce, and we don't. We I said we don't joke about divorces. We don't talk about divorces. Like, if I'm to get married, I was like, I want this to be a marriage that like we're gonna have issues, we're gonna have problems. I'm sure we will, but like we sit down, we talk, and we work through it. We do what we can to be together. Because it's a commitment. We, yeah, we made a commitment to each other to work through this, and I think there's no other person in my world that I could ever think of doing that with because we do. Then understand. who? like with you like I like like you you make everything so secure and like we don't fight and like we don't argue and it's because you talk to me and we we have these conversations and we talk to each other and listen to each other and communicate properly before anything arises and I think that is so important when it comes to a successful marriage like my parents have been married now almost 37 years damn I know a long time and it's like because they communicate with each other that was a long-winded marriage conversation five-year goals though marriage kids be successful i want to build like a, a huge empire with you heck yeah 
And I, th- yeah, I, th- I would say marriage, kids. Do you, can you imagine if, if I keep making videos like, <laughs> hey guys, oh, oh, he just threw up on me. Little Billy. <laughs> He's not gonna be named Billy. No, we have names already. Oh, Billy. And um, I'd probably get out of this uh, hell hole of a freaking house. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get out of here for the bulkhead. But no, I, I, I think building like a, a dream, this, hotel, this house has been the best first house I could ask for and gave me tons of content, but um, I definitely want to build a, uh, like a forever home the tuning together. complex. Yes. And uh, I, I'm just excited for what the future holds and hopefully life can kind of calm down a little bit with my, my stress and my needing to, hopefully the, the year, the 10 years I've been doing YouTube and social and building these businesses and a couple more years of that, um, just f- foot on the gas and full steam ahead can pay off in the long run of not just not doing anything in three, five years, but I think just maybe compl- a, delegating a lot of tasks and just slowing down a little bit and not needing my brain to just race 24 seven and stressing all the time because I don't think that that's uh, good for your health, yeah. um, both mental and physical f- f- to keep that up for the long run. Um, so ho- you, you have to take your foot up off, off the gas a little bit. I'm not gonna stop working or stop you know entertaining. Grinding, yeah, but it's just, I'm gonna, I'm going to try to lower my stress the older I get. And when I have kids, I want to be at a point where I can spend time with them and not need to just be like Stressed, working. overwhelmed with them. Yeah. Because you do have a lot on your plate. And I like, like what's great right now is like I always say, I'm like, I can't have a kid right now. We can't have a child. Our child is dude, obviously. But like we both are so go, 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 go that it's like it wouldn't make sense for us to have that. But like at some point in our lives, like we do want to have that like settled down moment where we like yeah. get to have a family. For sure. But and right now we're just living life. Woo! And I can't wait to take you guys along with me when we have that. I'm just kidding. We're retiring in January. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, that, I think just overall, I know this is, this is the longest q and I've ever done in my whole life. Overall, a year in, it's been fantastic. And I don't, Thank you for the happiest year of my life. Yeah. I don't I don't want anyone to think that like I or anyone cuz it's definitely different of seeing like the external of how people you you think like how happy people are and maybe they're dealing with a lot of problems but like without even hype we 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 really just authentically are great together and great for each other and we get we don't we're just best friends. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's it's been it's been great. It's been great, and hopefully you guys have seen maybe me evolve. I'm maybe one percent less immature, but <laughs> I uh, I think I've taken on that one percent immaturity. I think I uh, <laughs> I think I've grown, and hopefully you guys have seen that too. And we got a lot more growing to do, not physically, just uh, mentally and emotionally, and spiritually. Spiritually, yes, and I'm excited for the future with you. I love you. I love you. Happy one year when this is out. Woo! To many more. Woo! To all of them. Uh-uh. Oh, it up. Oh, we're doing it. Powerball. That was it. That is going to wrap this video up, ladies and gentlemen. 30, this is, me, this is I, should, I, should, I should, I delete a bunch of these. No. It's such a long video. People love um, it. Okay, that will be it. Please thumbs it up. Give it a comment. Tell your friends about us. We're going to pick the prep back up next Sunday. Hopefully a big jump in our strength. I'm not going to take the camera. I'm going to, I'm going to vlog a little bit after our anniversary, but uh, I'm going to just experience, you know, with Taylor. So um, that'll be that. Thank you guys for sticking around for the year of our relationship. And thanks for tuning in. Eight more sour strips. And ever forward. Woof! God, that was a long video. My ass is numb. My, my ass. I'm going to put my arm on you. My back started hurting. My butt cheeks. My butt cheeks. My butt cheeks hurt.